Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, look, some of you might see this on my personal page. Some of you might not. Um, but I thought I'd share this with the Authentic Mission um, movement pay, uh, group and a bunch of other spiritual-based groups that I'm on. Uh, if you are on my personal page, you'll see there's, there's been a lot of anger and, well, not anger, maybe bitterness, uh, lately. And that's what I want to talk about. <clears throat> um, for people that say, you know, pastors are never really bitchy or anything like that, they're full of crap. Okay. Um, pastors have bad days. They're still humans. Uh, they still get tempted by dark energies. They still, and all that sort of thing. And lately, I've worked on a long time through the Thrive book and different books on coming to terms with uh, my past before I found spirituality. And, and it worked. But I've come to the realization that it's going to be a lifelong journey. Because... Um, even though I've moved on on certain uh, chapters of my life, now I'm struggling with bitterness and anger towards, um, unfortunately, towards humanity as a whole. Uh, I could I could keep my head buried in the sand, and I could like not watch the news and not what know what's going on in the world. And first of all. Okay, I'm going to do a video about this another day or maybe later on today, maybe right away, I don't know. But first of all, there's so much stuff on the news. But one, let's look at the fact that news only gets covered. Um, some news only gets covered once, then it's buried in the sand for a couple months. Uh, there's two reasons this could be happening, but again, I'll talk about that in another video. Um, and I just wanted to, as a spiritual being, acknowledge that people can have chips on their shoulder. Um, it's not good to hold on to it, and I'm trying to let it go. I'm trying to um, get rid of the chip, I guess you could say. Fill the crack, whatever you want to call it. I don't know. Um, the biggest thing I struggle with is um, I'm getting more involved politically. And I'm leaning more and more towards libertarian views because um, the government should not tell people what they can and cannot do with their bodies in terms of abortions and stuff like that. Um, and as long as you're responsible and you're uh, not uh, abusing anyone or anything of that nature then uh, the government should not be stepping in. Um, you know, and telling people things like, uh, let's, you know, like I said, abortions, or uh, telling people things like, oh, you're, you're 19, you can't drink, or you're 18, you can't drink till you're 19, but you can still pay taxes. Um, and liberty is basically about, don't, use your opinions now this is i don't have the webster's dictionary or even the uh, wikipedia dictionary to pull it up um but basically to me liberty is about freedom of choice again as long as you're not hurting yourself or anyone else uh or even if even if you are hurting yourself i guess that's your responsibility um I've heard some libertarians talk about all drugs should be legal across the board. Uh, at first I thought you guys are nuts. But now upon looking at some of what I've watched in the interviews, I will be looking into that more and more because they've done it in Switzerland. They've done, there's, there's one country, maybe it's Switzerland, but a, a social working friend of mine told me that they, um, that some country will not put you in jail for some sort of drug problem. They'll just, if you're ready, they'll put you in rehab. 
and, and I don't know if that's paid for by the taxpayers or what, but jail is more or less a school, and I've said that before. So anyway, um, I'm getting more involved politically, and I'll talk about all that later. Um, I'm getting uh, more involved in learning about liberty, but I do, um, and I, I just, with my anxieties, the only thing that seems to help it is my work, my circle, who I love, uh, dearly, and, um, and, and, um, Cannabis, uh, cannabis and spiritual use of cannabis and medical use of cannabis because uh, sometimes I'll order stuff that's more higher in CBD if, if I'm having anxiety based struggles uh, sometimes I'll have um, stuff that's higher in THC if it's more for pain and just means it like um, you know uh, pray and, and, and focus and push away anxieties. Um, and I probably should be smoking more than I am, but I've been skip like I'll, I'll smoke one day, skip a day, smoke one day, skip two days because I can't afford what I'm allowed to smoke. Like, uh, even if I was allowed to, you know, whatever I'm allowed to smoke, it still costs money. So, and I'm on ODSP. But that's one thing that I've struggled with in terms of libertarian views is um, people, there is some people on ODSP that abuse the system and then there's people like me that want to get off the system but coincidentally need some help from the government and need them to open their minds and open their their uh, their opinions. But again, I'll do a video on that later. Um so, I just want to say, like, as a spiritual being and struggling with knowing pastors, we can uh, we can get bogged down by the world. Uh, human beings can get bogged down, and we develop a chip. And I realized, because of struggling with who am I politically, who am I spiritually, who am I uh, human-wise... Uh, well, now I know I, who I am human-wise. I've moved past certain levels of my uh, of my life. Uh, but it feels like, um, you know, you mentioned God or you mentioned I'm a different person. Nobody wants to hear that, unfortunately, nowadays. And that's what develops the chip on my shoulder. I feel angry that... Um, I'm trying and trying and I've been, you know, until I hired the good team that I have, uh, I've been, you know, there's been some good team members that I still talk to, but there's other team members that were just, um, you know, they, they want to work, but they only want to work when they want to work. So, and they, they just look at this, this film stuff, this advocacy stuff, this, this YouTube videos as just a, oh, well, uh, uh, it's just a hobby to keep me busy. Is it a hobby to keep me busy? Yes, it is. Do I want it to make me money, though? Hell yeah. Because who wants to spend, spend, spend and not make money? I don't want to make millions. I've lived on ODSP for the rest of my life, for all my life, basically. Even when... You know, when I was a kid, I'm sure my mom got some sort of disability benefits. I'm sure. I'm not positive. So if she ever sees this video, she might, you know, comment back. Are you nuts? We never got nothing. I don't know. I never asked her. Um, but I, you know, I've got so many good film ideas. We just launched a Indiegogo campaign. Check it out. Um, what did we call that again? Anyway, we'll we'll put the link in the description. I can't think of what we called that. But um I you know, I I contacted a film friend of mine and again they always say to me, Well, you need to go to film school. You need to do an online course for film school. Um do I want to? 
Hell yeah. Do I, do I have the money to? No. Is the online course, you know, covered by OSAP? No. Um, plus with my learning disability and anxiety to not be able to work at my own pace is, you know, do, do I want to develop a routine and work with it? Yeah, I do. So here, so here's me trying all these, uh, things and loving what I do, but constantly feeling like I'm still catching up. Like, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. I'm a spiritual guy. I don't like, uh, you know, I don't like pain pills. You would know that if you watch this, uh, if you observe this channel. I don't like overdoing it with drinking, but do I occasionally drink? Yes, I do. Do I do it when I'm frustrated and about to snap? Yeah, I do, actually. I realized that a couple of days ago. Like, I spent a little bit of my birthday money, like 40 bucks, mind you, but I spent 40 bucks basically uh, last month on two days when I was feeling overwhelmed because for reasons I can't get into, um, I'm launching a human rights complaint. Now, here's me that also I've done videos on what's PC and what's too much PC and what's somebody just being a whiner. Again, another video I plan to do, but we've been so busy trying to deal with the, the, the human uh, rights records and, and getting all our records into place here uh, that we don't really get a chance to do that some days. And then I've got, uh, you know, like the the government funding I use kind of ran out at the end of this month. Do I regret it? No. Do, do, does my team work, the teammate deserve the money they get? Hell yeah. With the amount of time I bug people... <laughs> Sure, I would love to be able to pay even more, but, you know. Um, and then, again, with that government-funded program, uh, you know, I found out, oh, minimum wage is going up, so that must mean we're going up a little bit because we have to pay a minimum of minimum wage. And I found out we didn't. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait a minute here. You expect business people to pay minimum wage... And plus play, pay unemployment insurance so you can keep your piece of the pie. And, and then, but yet when you're a government-funded program for people with uh, learning disabilities and stuff, now we, we've only got so much for the pie. Well, I'm sorry. No, 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 no. You're, you're raising at least a minimum wage because you want the every man to pay minimum wage minimum. Whoops. Said man way too many times there. But um, you want the minimum paid, but yet you're not willing to do it. Whoa, whoa. So, yeah, I've been frustrated and, and needing my cannabis more and more. But again, ODSP can't afford it. I want to get off the system here. I, I tried to get a credit card because I was a man about this. And I paid off my credit cards. And then I waited two years and I said, look, I got a small business, really small. Just give me a $500 card and you guys can see that I'm more, you know, responsible. I paid off the credit cards. I didn't wait the seven-year minimum for my debt to be wiped clean, which my credit counselor was even telling me to do because they couldn't take my money away because I live on ODSP. But I said, no, I would, my pride would... I want to pay it off. Plus, it would look good on the record if I paid it off versus letting it get negligent. And, well, what the hell's the point of doing that when uh, I'm told, well, you can't get credit, but yet I was told in high school that even our phone uh, phone bills, cable bills, whatever, could be shown as credit. If they were, If they were to look at that, they would see holy shit, this guy paid all his bills and what the hell, uh, let's give him a $500 card. Instead, no, I got to save up the $500, put it in a secure account, then apply a couple of, I don't know, about a year later, six months later to get my money back, but there's no guarantee that I will. How the flying fuck does that make sense, if I can be honest here? Okay, so again, 
that's what I've been struggling with. That's why I feel let down by the government. I feel let down by humanity because people preach all the time. Uh, you know, judge not lest ye be judged. Judge not, lest. but yet that's all we do to people. Even the Oompa Loompa president. I mean, here's me judging them all the time. But yet, as dumb as it sounds, he's done everything he said he was going to do so far. And our government, where I live, has backed off on three different promises here. So again, it's kind of like, well, wait a minute. At least this guy's doing what he says he's going to do. Do I think he's qualified to, to run the country? No. Do I think Hillary was the best? No. Do I, uh, you know, she is the ultimate insider. Do I think um, all politicians tell the truth? Hell no. But, you know, like, so yeah, I've been getting a little bit of a, a little bit of a chip on my shoulder and I'm a little bit angry at the world. Uh, I'm going to flat out say it. Because here's us trying, and this year will be better. We've got all the ducks in a row. We wrote another book, which you can now buy on uh, uh, Amazon uh, dot com, I believe. I'm not sure if it's .ca. It, no, did I say Amazon? Okay, not Amazon. Whoops, I meant uh, Smashwords. Um, you know. I've written short stories, yes, but that's because I'm not going to come right out of the box and do a flat-out novel right away and be like, here's me, look at me. I wanted to do some short stories. Even I am a little bit picky on them. But we've done all this work, and then um, here's the government that won't even help me when I'm offering to pay them back. A lot of people... We'll just go to the government for help and not pay them back. But I'm, as a libertarian, I'm saying, why don't we look at doing it that way? You pay them back and then, and then it teaches you responsibility and all that different things. Um, and, and there is a sense of pride that comes out of that. And then, so I just, I'm just being honest about the chip on my shoulder right now and where are we going as a society and where are we going? Where are we going? Where are we going? 